What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to use shared parameters in our schedule. Okay, from our last video, we have learned how to create just a basic structural framing schedule, which is um, this one here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the shared parameters to define additional elements that are usually not included in our BIM schedule when it is created within the project template. So we can add shared parameters to any family regardless of category. So they are defined and stored in an external file. That's why you can use these shared parameters to other projects that you are working on. Okay, so you can reuse it. Okay, so they are defined and, st and stored in an external file ensuring consistency across family and projects so their values may also be aggregated and reported within the revit structure multi-category schedules so let's say for example i'm going to open the zero through uh zero two floor here and then i'm going to zoom in to one of the beam here and then select it so i'm going to click that and then that's my concrete rectangular beam and then I'm going to select here the type properties. So let's click the type properties. And then let's say, for example, what I want to do is I want to add this uh, family parameter length and then this family parameter uh, length as well. So this is B parameter and then H parameter. Okay, so that will going to be the uh, width and uh, depth of our uh, structural or concrete rectangular beam so i want to add these two parameters to my schedule okay so but the problem is if i select here okay and then check my schedule here which is uh, this one so i'm going to edit the fields here so i click the edit and then one thing i notice here there is no b parameter here or let's say there's no length and depth parameter here the b and h parameter so i don't see any b parameter here i don't see any h parameter here for the depth for example so even if i change here the fields from uh, structural framing to structural material i can't see here the b parameter and h parameter so there's no such thing as parameter like that added here on our available fields list right Okay, but I want that to be included to my scheduled fields. Okay, so I want that to be showing here. Okay, so let's say I do not want to show the family and type, but instead I want to see the B and H parameter. Okay, so I want to see the length and then the width or the depth parameter of my concrete beam. So how to do that? Okay, you can only do that if you are going to create a shared parameter okay shared parameter so we are going to modify the family so let's do this one so i'm going back to zero to floor and then i'm going to click this uh concrete rectangular beam which has this b and h parameter okay so i'm going to cancel that so i'm going to select the beam and then i'm going to edit the family and then I'm going to show you how to create a shared parameter. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to open family types. Let's click that one. And then I can now see here the parameter B and then the parameter H. Okay, so if I want to flex this um, parameter like B, let's say I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it two fit and then I select your apply. So as you can see it changed, right? So for the H let's say five and then apply all right so it changes the height okay so this one uh, let's say uh, four apply so it changes the the width all right so i want to use this b and h parameter to be added to my schedule now i can't do that unless i create a shared parameter so okay so how to do that so let me just cancel that and then i undo okay Let's undo that one until it goes back to the default setting. So I'm going to select again the family and types. 
And then I'm going to select the B parameter here. So let's click that one. And then I'm going to select your edit parameter. Okay, so this is how am I going to do that. So edit. Alright, so as you can see, currently, this B parameter is a family uh, parameter. So it says here, it cannot appear in schedules or tags. So that's the reason why we can't see this uh, with or B parameter on the available or on the list of field that you can use to your schedule. So it's not available there because this is a family parameter, this B parameter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shared parameter. So let's click shared parameter. Okay, and then I'm going to select here, select. Let's click that one. Okay, so a while ago, I already playing around with the shared parameter. That's why I already have this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. I'm going to change this one. So I'm going to create a new parameter or shared parameter set. So I'm going to select edit. Okay, so I'm going to select browse here. Okay, so let's select the browse. So this is the project shared parameter that I created. So as you can see, it is a text file. Okay, it's a text document. So you can use shared parameters across different projects. Okay. So you can reuse this one. So it would be better if you have a list of parameters that um, you want to be included to the schedule or sets of parameters that is not present in your current project. So you can create a shared parameter. Okay. And then after that, you can share that to different uh, projects. Anyway, I'm going to select this and let me try if I can delete this one. Okay. So I just deleted it. All right, and then I'm going to select here, cancel. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select create. So it's create. And then I'm going to select uh, save it here on my my documents and then save it as a uh, project shared parameter. So that's the file name. Okay, and then the file subtype of shared parameter is text file, text document. Okay, that's fine. So I'll just select here, okay. There you go. So this is now my shared parameter now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to create a new group so as you can see i cannot se select new here under the parameter because i need to create first a group so i'm going to select new and then this group that i want to create is for dimensions so i'm going to type dimensions for that and then i'll select here okay and there you go so i now have a dimensions group okay now i'm going to select new here right and then for the name i'm going to type b and then for the discipline i'll just put it as common common discipline and then for the data type i'm gonna make it length and then i'll select here okay so there's my b parameter created and then i'm going to select new again the name here is h okay so same discipline same data type so i'll select here okay there you go so I just created now a shared parameter that is named project shared parameter and has a groups of dimension with parameters B and H. This is different from this uh, a project parameter. Okay, so I'm going to select now OK. So I'm going to make sure that B is selected and then I'm going to select OK. All right, so B is selected and then OK. So there's my B. So this is not a family parameter anymore. So this is now a shared parameter. So I'm going to make that as a type parameter B and then select OK. So there's now my B. Now I'm going to change my H here. So I'm going to select H, select edit parameter. So I'm going to change that family parameter because it cannot appear to the schedule. Now I'm going to select shared parameter. So shared parameter, let's select and then I'm going to select H, select OK, and then I'll select here OK. There you go. All right, and then after that, I'll select here OK. All right, so I have now set the B and H parameter as a shared parameter. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to load this into the project. And then I'm going to override the existing version and its parameter values. Okay, now let's go to my schedule which is the structural framing schedule okay so let me double click that and then 
I do not want to have this family and type. For example, I do not want this. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to replace it with B and H uh, parameter. So to do that, I'm going to select edit. All right. And then I'm going to select family and type or just double click this to remove from the scheduled fields. Just double click. So it's now removed. And now one thing that you will notice here on my available fields is B is now available for you to select. So let's double click this to be added to the scheduled fields. There you go. So it's now added. And then let's look for H or the height parameter or the depth. So let's double click that. There you go. So now I'm going to select B and then I'm going to move it up to the second. H up to the third column. There you go. All right. And then I'm going to select now OK. There you go. There you go. There you have it. So as you can see, I have now here the B and H parameter. Okay, so I now have the the depth and then the height parameter of my structural or concrete beam. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you create a shared parameters. Remember, you are not only able to create your your dimension parameter but you can also create a text parameter under your shared parameters so the, there's a lot of things that you can do with shared parameters so one thing that is good with shared parameters you can um, apply this to other projects so you can use shared parameters to your different projects okay so hopefully you learned something about this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day